Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky visited the Philippines for the first time to meet with President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Zelensky thanked Marcos Jr. for his support for the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine and the United Nations resolutions. The president assured Zelensky the Philippines will continue to do all it can to promote peace to come to a political resolution to the war and bring an end to the fighting. Meanwhile, Zelensky announced that Ukraine will open an embassy in Manila this year, which President Marcos said is very good news. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump weighed in Sunday on the possibility of being sentenced to jail next month after his conviction for falsifying business records. The guilty verdict is already being used by both the Trump and Biden campaigns to fire up supporters. VOA's Veronica Balderas Iglesias reports. He may be the first U.S. president to be convicted on criminal charges, but Donald Trump's popularity isn't waning on the campaign trail, according to one of his lawyers. The Trump campaign obviously smashed political fundraising records, uh, including raising money from tens of thousands of new donors in the 24 hours after this verdict. I think the American people see this judgment for what it was. Uh, and we're certainly hopeful that on appeal we can get it thrown out. During the trial, prosecutors argued Trump falsified business records to illegally influence the outcome of the 2016 election that he won. The guilty verdict won't help Trump politically, especially with African-American voters, says Maryland Governor Wes Moore, a Democrat. What's going to resonate with the community as a whole is uh, having a person, having a president like we have in President Biden, who's actually focusing on our futures. In an exclusive interview that aired Sunday on Fox and Friends, Trump weighed in on the possibility of being sentenced to jail or house arrest on July 11th. I don't know that the public would stand it, you know. I don't, I'm not sure the public would stand for it uh, with a... Uh, tried house arrest for... I think, I think it would be tough for the public to take. You know, at a certain point, there's a breaking point. The Biden campaign posted a clip of the interview on X with the caption reading, quote, convicted felon Trump suggests there will be violence if he's put under house arrest. While U.S. President Joe Biden is expected to stick to his messaging that no one is above the law, his campaign could increasingly use Trump's guilty verdict to attack the presumptive Republican presidential nominee's character, says political scientist at the University of Chicago, Susan Stokes. His desire to um, use his money and power and influence to avoid being held to account, um, you can expect that kind of, uh, that kind of focus from them. Beyond catering to his base, the Trump campaign would do well to tweak their strategy to win other voters, Stokes added. Maybe suburban women who might be a little bit on the fence about what to do in the, in the 2024 in November um, and um, need to be given some reason to look past this verdict. Both presidential candidates are expected to continue courting undecided voters this month in the lead up to the first presidential debate set for June 27th. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington. A man in northern Uttar Pradesh arrived on horseback to cast his vote in the final phase of India's mammoth election exercise. He said this unusual mode of transport was intended to catch the eye of the people and instill a sense of excitement on the voting. Millions of Indians voted Saturday in the last phase of India's mammoth election that will decide whether Prime Minister Narendra Modi secures a third consecutive term in office. Voters were casting ballots for 57 parliamentary constituencies in the seventh phase of the polls that stretched over six weeks in the searing summer heat. This is William Theo. Stay informed, get ahead, get the news right here.